So this is just a quick video on how to label our quilts. What I've got here is a piece of white cotton and it does need to be pre-washed because we need to get all the starch and whatever else is in there out to help our ink set in the fabric. I've cut it to approximately the size I want, bearing in mind I will be folding over these edges. Now what you could do is you could write on that label now if you feel comfortable doing so with a permanent fabric marker. Some people also like to use a Sharpie, but you will have to set it with your iron once you're finished to make sure it doesn't wash out. So if you're comfortable, you could write on that now, or if you find it too hard, you can stabilize it with a piece of freezer paper. This is just regular freezer paper. And what we do is we iron the shiny side on to the wrong side of your fabric. And what we can do, the beauty of using a bit of freezer paper is we can draw some lines on the matte side to help us get nice straight writing for our labels. So what I'll do is I'll take an, an ink pen and a ruler and I will use an ink pen because I don't want my permanent marker to stain my ruler and I'll just draw some lines and then I'll use my ruler to make sure they're nice and even and I'll go with half an inch. Okay, so now I've got some lines on the matte side of my freezer paper. Now I need to iron on my fabric onto the shiny side. And we iron it down so that we're not getting the shiny side of the freezer paper on our iron. So now I've got my ironing mat and I've got the good side of my fabric facing down. You might have wanted to use a slightly pattern fabric or what have you, so make sure the good side is facing down. The shiny side of your freezer paper is facing down and the matte side is facing up. We don't want the shiny side on our iron and just make sure that if you did do lines that they're nice and straight on your label. And I'll just iron that on. And now you can see that my fabric is stuck to my freezer paper which helps stabilize it. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera that my lines are there very vaguely which will help me write nice straight lines. So now I've got my label nice and stabilized and I'm ready to write on it. You can write on your label whatever you choose. You might want to write your name, who it's for, the reason you made the quilt. It might be for a wedding or a graduation, the date, the year, the season, whatever you'd like. Bear in mind you want to keep the writing sort of in the middle because we will be folding these edges over. So now we've done our label, now we can pull the freezer paper off and now we need to fold the edges over so we can sew it on. Now there are a few options for that and I've got this little sample quilt to show you. If I turn it over to the back, you can put your label wherever you'd like to put it. You might like to have it a little bit set away from your binding and then what you'd need to do is you'd need to fold over every side and iron it down like so, and then you'd hand stitch it on, carefully making sure you don't catch the front. Or you might like to make your label before you've done your binding, in which case you could put it right in this corner here, and you'd catch this side and this side when you attach your binding, and then you'd only need to fold over this side and this side, and hand stitch those two sides down. So what I would do is I would work out where you want it, iron down the sides that you need to iron down. Or there's one more option, you might choose to take a square, fold it in half so you have a triangle, and then you can put it in this corner here. Before you've attached your binding, you'd write your label here, and then you don't have to do any hand sewing at all. You'd be attaching it when you attach the binding on this side and on this side. But these are all just all the different options you could choose. You could also, instead of writing your own label, you could buy a customized label from Etsy. You could buy a pre-made generic label from somewhere like Hobby Lobby or Lincraft. You might want to embroider your label, or you might have a Cricut and come up with your own design altogether. Just have fun and just do whatever you think you like the look of the most.